behind me is the largest earth moving project on the east coast from where i am standing i can see one 870 two 870 a 1250 a hitachi 1200 an 870 an 870 a 1250 an 870 an 870 it is wild and we're going to show you everything about it so get ready for some earth moving A few years ago, the biggest earth moving operations on the East Coast typically topped out at 1 million yards of earth. But with enormous government spending bills like the CHIPS Act, a new generation of mega projects has emerged. Welcome to Blythewood, South Carolina, home of the new Scout Motors manufacturing plant. Currently the largest earthworks project east of the Mississippi, we had to drive over from Nashville to see our friends at Landmark making it happen. It is just after 7.30. We got here at 5.30 to meet with project management, review the overall site, go through the safety stuff, so on and so forth. The crew just got in about an hour ago. They started firing trucks up at about 6.30. They're not starting until 7, 7.30 because sunrise is later at this time of year. They don't have many light plants set up, so you've got to get a little light for it to be safe for everybody to know what the heck they're doing. The trucks are rolling out of the ready line. They have over a hundred trucks here. I've never seen a ready line like that at a civil site work project before, over a hundred trucks in one place. We just checked that out. And now the trucks are rolling into the cut area. This is where it's all happening. All of the excavators in one place. And we are about to see it all unfold in front of us. First up, what the heck is going on here? Fortunately, they printed me a handy little map that I can use to explain. Okay, let's talk. Here is the map. We have the interstate, north goes to Charlotte, south goes to Columbia, right in the middle of the state. Now, believe it or not, and some of you may argue this point, the earth, is not flat but buildings are flat so what do you do well you have to make the land flat to build your flat building and that is exactly what landmark construction is doing by grading this site we have cuts which is where the dirt needs to be removed and we have fills where the dirt needs to be put the cuts are quite enormous. They're right behind me. That's where all the excavators are loading the trucks. Normally, you would take your cut, which is about here where we are, and just drive it right across diagonally to your fill. The problem is the schedule for the site is very accelerated. So Landmark actually needed to do these pads first to get building construction underway, and now, they're having to route the material from here all the way around to the fill, which is about 11,000 feet. Not ideal, but it's allowed the buildings to get started as planned. And they started these buildings when they were about 12% done with the earthwork, which is absolutely bananas. To give you some fun facts for this project, there's about 24 million cubic yards of material to move here total to prepare this site for the new automotive plant. There are about 12 million yards through it, so they're about halfway through the whole mass excavation phase. And this spread here is on target to move about 75,000 yards of earth every single day.
With over 100 trucks on site, you need massive loading units to keep everything fed. So let's go to the cut to see the three styles of excavators on this project. I just typically, on a big earthwork site, we'd have one 1250 to look at, and that's where I would go. But I have so many things to look at and choose from, I don't know what to choose. <coughs> While we're here, let's go down because that's grade. The excavators are the tip of the mass excavation spear here on site. And we have three different types of excavator. The first here is the Hitachi 1200 with a 10 yard bucket. The second production unit here is the John Deere 870. They are running an eight yard bucket on every 870 on site and they have many of them. The third production unit they have here is the Komatsu 1250, the biggest machine on site. It is also running a 10 yard bucket, filling these articulated trucks up nice and quick. This is a brand new ramp they just dug this morning. The 1250 was over here top loading. The internet's gonna comment, what are they doing top loading? Well, they were cutting this brand new ramp to get the trucks in from over there out a lot more effectively. As your cut is changing, you've got to route traffic all over the place, cut in new ramps, 
push trucks over there, push trucks over there. It's changing every single day around here as the earth literally changes. And now for a completely unscripted and candid ad. Hi TJ, where did you get this sticker? Yes. Next are the grunts of the operation, the articulated trucks. Here on site, they have over a hundred of these trucks. Landmark does specifically. There's even more with other contractors. Landmark will eventually be ramping up to about 120 trucks for the very long haul. Currently, they're hauling 11,000 feet to the fill, which is about a 17 minute cycle time. finished grade or roughly finished grade. This is where the building will eventually sit. You can see the first building is getting built right there in the background. From here, this is where Landmark turns it over to the foundation contractor, Keller. They're gonna start doing all of the piers across this entire area. And then finally, you'll be able to put your building pad atop that and your building, which will eventually make those cars. Bigger trucks are not always better. They have some rigid frame trucks out here, but the rigid frames don't do very well when it gets wet. We're in South Carolina. The material is extremely soft and there's been 30 plus inches of rain this year beyond what is average. So those articulated trucks, the six by six action can get through the muddiest conditions or almost the muddiest conditions to keep the dirt flowing. No, no, no. Seriously, like if you walk out there, you'll just fucking sink. Okay, now that, my, now that both of my feet are wet. Eventually, when the site is complete, we'll have many large buildings across the 1600 acre site, and then we'll also have significantly large ponds. The issue when you build a building is that the water that would normally percolate into the woods where that building uh, is going has to go somewhere. So the water has to run off into a drainage system. That drainage system then runs into a network of ponds. On a 1600 acre site, you have a ton of water. So these ponds are actually very well designed and engineered. So all of the dams at the ponds have to be tested for compaction every eight inches and can only use a specific kind of soil. So not only is Landmark just moving material from here to there to the tune of 24 million cubic yards, but they're also having to pull some of that select material aside for those dams because it is just the stuff necessary to keep the water at bay. Now let's head to the other end of the operation to see where an army of dozers is working the fill. That is the fill point B in the equation. We've loaded all of the material into the trucks driven the 11,000 feet here. We have the trucks rolling in. We also have KTEC scrapers getting pulled by articulated trucks coming in here as well. They are pulling right through and dumping in front of an army of bulldozers, which knock the piles down. They're placing about a foot at a time, and then a bunch of sheep's foot rollers. The sheep's foot rollers are sitting there. They've got those sheep's feet all around that drum, kneading that material in 
as they roll over it to get that compaction. You don't want to place too much material at one time because it'll settle over time and that's not what you want. You want that material to stay exactly where you're putting it. So that's why they're covering this entire area one foot at a time. They'll work their way all the way across and then they'll come back to where we're standing, place another foot, work their way all the way across. They've got, I think, another 100 feet to go. Are going to be level with the hill? Yeah. This is where we are. That guy up there, that's where we're going. It is lunchtime, and as you know, we don't work past lunch, so we are about to knock off. But first, thank you so much to Landmark Construction for having us out. They were delightful. They showed us every nook and cranny of the site, and I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, be sure to subscribe because we've got plenty more coming your way soon. We'll see you next time. Stay dirty.